Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Glenda. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, Glenda. I see your microphone on, but I cannot hear you. Veo su micrófono encendido, pero no, no lo escucho. Check it, please. I, hello, hello. 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 Good evening, Carlos Alberto. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Good evening. Hmm. I cannot hear you, Carlos. Let's see. Norman, good evening. Good evening. Give me a second, please. It seems I having, I'm having trouble with the audio or something. Let me try. Okay, uh, can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. I hear you. Now yes. I can hear you too. Yes. All right, how are you today, Norman? How's everything? Uh, we're fine. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, I have I have a good day. All right, that's very nice. And how was your weekend? Mm. Yeah. Very good, very good. Was yours good? Right, fine. What did you do? Yeah, uh, I, 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 um, I work in um, uh, what is the auditor? Yes. Okay. So you had to work on the weekend. And the weekend, I not work. Oh, you do not. All right. No. Okay, that's fine, Norman. Thank, thank, thank you very much. See, Karen is said, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Bye. Bye. Nice. How was your weekend, Karen? Mm, my weekend, um, nice. Good. Was it nice? What did you do? Mm. Bueno, solo en casa. You stayed solo home. En casa. Okay. Yes. So you had some time to rest, maybe watch movies, maybe cleaning and stuff. Training. 
Okay, all right, cool. Let me Thank see, and that is it. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? It's very good. Okay, nice. How was the weekend? I'm um, only go to the store. You went to the store? Okay. For the groceries. Groceries? The, mm, yeah, mm, you went to the grocery um, store? the bank. Okay, so you mm. run errands. It's yes. a mandados, you run errands. Okay. Yes. All right, you had a busy weekend. Yes. That's good. Let me see, Glenda Yamilet, were you able to solve your problem with the microphone? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Great. I can complain. Thanks. How was the weekend? Um, very fine. Okay, nice. What did you do? Um, I, I was then with my family. You spend it with your family. Okay, cool. Did you stay home? Yes. Okay. All right, that's nice. See Hector Jose. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you, Hector? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Okay. How was the weekend? Mm, it was good. I stay at home. I watched to be uh, and relax. Great. All right. Let's see Walter Giovanni. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. <clears throat> Hi. How's everything? How are you doing? How are you, Walter? Hola, hola. Hi, how are you? I can hear you. Sorry. Hola, hola. Hi, now I can hear you again. So, how are you? How was the weekend? Okay. Um, hola, hola. Yes. Um, I want to beach. Oh, you went to the beach? Cool. You had a very nice weekend, I guess. Very relaxing and very nice. Yes. Relaxing. All right, I'm glad to hear that. And how about Edilia Roxana? Good evening, Edilia. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Hi, teacher, and you? Great. I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. And how was your weekend? Um, was great. I went to shopping. I spend time with my family and my friends and that's it I think and I stay home all right I'm glad to hear that you had a nice weekend Jose Jovito good evening good evening teacher how are you this moment I find okay I'm glad to hear that and how was the weekend And I actually weekend. Excuse me, Jose, I couldn't hear you because of the internet. So sorry. So what did you tell me? Okay. 
well, it seems you're having trouble with the internet, Jose, or, well, I don't know if it's mine, but I cannot hear you. Well, let me see. Uh -huh. Jose Naun, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Jose? Jose, excuse me. I am fine. Okay, good. How was the weekend? And the weekend I went to eat with my family on weekend. Oh, okay. You went out. How was that? What? How was that? You went out with your family. So how was that? Was it nice? Was it good? Uh, in the morning. Okay. All right. Very well. I'm glad to hear that you had a good time with your family. And let's see, Katia Carolina. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Katia? I'm fine. Okay, nice. How was the weekend? It's very good. Cool. Um, what did you do? Um, where I go in the church. You went to the family. church? Mm -hmm. Only that? Sí. ¿Cómo? Only that? What else yes. did you do? Oh, okay. All right. Sounds excellent. Dagoberto, good evening. How are you, mister? Mm, I find things. Great. How was the weekend? Uh, it's fine. I was, uh, I was doing me, my class planifications. Oh, okay. Are you a teacher? I'm a teacher. Oh, okay. I'm a math teacher. You're a math teacher. Oh, interesting. Uh, do you teach children? Uh, como teenagers? Uh, teenagers. Okay. All right. That's nice. Interesting. Okay. So welcome, everybody. Good evening to everyone. And let's start with our class. Well, today we're going to continue practicing the present continuous. So See, today is our class number 15. We just missing one more class to finish the, the module um, pre intermediate one. And the first thing that I want to do this in this class is to work on this conversation. We're going to listen and answer the question. So let's try to get this information. We got number one what does Rita's brother do? Number two, what does Rita's sister do? Three, where do Rita's parents live? And four, what do Rita's parents do? So um, I'll play the audio and I need you to get the answers, please. Let's see if we can do this. Did you take notes of the questions? Because I'm stop, I'll stop sharing so I can share the audio. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, okay. All right, so I'm going to share the audio right now. Give me a second. Are you ready to talk about your family? Can you listen to that? Could you listen to it? Yes. yes. Okay, thanks. Yes. Please. 
I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay, let me play it a second time and then we check. Are you ready to talk about your family? I want you to play the conversation and practice it in class. Asking about families. Part A. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Can you tell me now where Rita's parents live? What do they do? Type your answers in our discussion box. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay. Let's share the answers. Let's see. Okay, so tell me, what does Rita's brother do? Did you get the answer? He travel at the Amazon. Mm, okay, he's traveling at the Amazon, but what does he do? Uh, sister. Mm, did no. anybody get the answer? He's a photographer. Oh, okay. The he's, is a um, photographer. Exactly. He's a wildlife photographer. And travel to Amazon. And he's traveling in the Amazon right now, right? So he's a wildlife photographer. Do you understand the meaning of wildlife? No. 
Amazon Live, eh, Vida Salvaje, like the, when you go, like in the Amazon, um, right? There's a lot of wildlife, that's why he's there. And how about Rita's sister? Um, what does Rita's sister do? She's a teacher. Is she a teacher? Uh, Are you sure? Uh, great project. Okay, she mm. works for the government mm. and she's working on a secret project, right? Yeah. Yes, she works for the government. No. And she's working mm. on a secret project, it mentioned. Number three, where do Rita's parents live? The USA. They live in, live the, US? in the Texas. Austin. Exactly. Austin. In Austin, Texas. That's Austin, right. Texas. They yes. live in Austin, Texas, US. And number four, what do Rita's parents do? The mother is a teacher. Her mother is a teacher. Mm -hmm. And, and the father is a university teacher. That is correct. So her mother is a university teacher and a her father is a carpenter. All right, so those are the answers. Now, a, let me give you a couple minutes so you go to the breakout rooms and you practice a conversation with a classmate, with a partner. Okay, here I'm sending you to the breakout rooms now and I'll send you the conversation to the WhatsApp group. Here we go. Sí. Creo que vamos a practicar la conversación. Yes, I just sent it to the WhatsApp group. Yeah, and this one. Okay. This is the conversation. Okay. About family, sobre los caminos. Primero dos, después dos. Empiezo yo, seré Rita. Después puede ser José o lo que tú Ok. Tell me about your brother and sister Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, that does she do? I am not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh, no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? She's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, but good. I... Just uh, the name is Sue. Sue, it's uh, in the first line. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. That's the name. Ahora oh. uh Jose -huh. y Karen. Jose Jovito y Karen. Vaya, eh, solo una preguntita. Sí. En la 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. En la 6, donde dice chisa, esa wildlife. palabra, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Chisa no Wildlife. Es a Wildlife Photographer. Wildlife. 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 
Why fly? Mm -hmm. Bye. ¿Quién empieza? La Rita. Yo soy Rita. ¿Y quién es el...? Bueno, hay que decir. Sí, yo soy. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister. Hello. Okay. 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 Well, my sister work for the governor. Oh, what does she do? Okay. Oh. What does she do? Oh, what does she do? Hola. No se le oye muy bien al compañero. Yeah, maybe no. Jose is having trouble with the internet. Okay, hey, ¿dónde se quedaron? En la, uh, él le tocaba decir la cuarta. And, bueno, si no puede seguir ello. No sé si se puede. Yeah. Uh, I am not sure she's working on a every secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a good life. But, um... Interesting. Oh no, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. In the world? She's hiding in the Amazon. Okay, very well. So we're coming back right now. Okay, let me close the breakout rooms. Um, who's sharing the screen, Josue? Are you sharing? Hola. ¿Usted está compartiendo? Eh, sí. Puede dejar de hacerlo, por favor. No sé por qué. Okay. No me salen okay. las opciones. So, maybe not. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Perdón, perdón. No, it's okay. Normalmente sí salen, pero no sé qué pasó ahora. Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, meanwhile, the others come, we can practice a couple of words. So let's see, first of all, let me tell you, this name is Sue, Sue, that's how we say it. And then uh, I need you to repeat, please. Works. 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 Government. 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 What does she do? What does, what she, what do? does she do? Sure. Sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Very. 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 Very secret. Very secret. Very secret. Wildlife. 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 Wildlife photographer. Interesting. 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 
Interesting. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting. Family. 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 My sister away. My sister away. My sister away. And okay, I think that's pretty much it. Do we have questions about any of the words? No. Okay, let's continue then. The next thing I want to do is to talk about families. So let's go to the word power section we have here. And uh, we're talking about this family. I'm pretty sure you have completed this exercise, but you already know about it, right? Let me zoom in just a second, please. Okay, so let's review the vocabulary for talking about family. We got grandfather and, what's the word that goes here? Grandmother. Grandmother. Right, okay. Here below we have a mother and father. 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 Then we have aunt and uncle. Uncle. Oh. Uncle. 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 Okay. Aunt uncle. and uncle. Then uh, below we got Sam. Uh, and he's the husband and his wife. Wife. Lisa is his wife. Okay. Next one is brother and sister in law. Brother and sister in law. Oh, okay. And then we have a, they have kids. They got um, this. How do you call this member of the family? What's the word that goes here? Okay. Huh? That Timmy is the nephew and Kelly is the, the niece. Yes. Me. Write it for you. Niece. Niece and nephew. Nephew. And then, okay. Podríamos and then, repetir la pronunciación. Excuse me. Uh, Manuel, what do you want to repeat? Quiero repetir. Pronunciación, quería saber cómo es. Okay, and all right, so let's practice pronunciation. Everybody repeat, please. Matthew. Matthew. Nephew. 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 Sister in law. 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 And then we pronounce the word as so, like that. Sister in law. Sister in law. Thank you. Brother. 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 Husband. 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 Wife. 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 Mother. Mother, 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 father, 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 
watching TV, my kids are sleeping, and I mean, the different things that are happening in where you are in your house, maybe. You mentioned three different things. Take turns with your classmates. You're working this in small groups. Then in the second exercise, I want you to make sentences in the affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. So you're going to make them like this. For example, number one, you using your mobile phone now. So let's make an affirmative sentence. How would it be? You are using your mobile phone now. now make it negative, please. You aren't. You aren't. You see your mobile phone now. Your mobile phone now. And how about the question? They ask a question. Are you using your mobile phone now? Exactly. You say, are you using your mobile phone now? So that is what I want you to do. I want you to make an affirmative sentence, a negative sentence, and then they ask no question. And then in the next exercise, let me erase this. Okay. In the next exercise, what you have to do is to make questions using the present continuous. Here you have some prompts. You must complete the question using the present continuous tense. For example, number one, what time you go to the cinema? What's the question? Time are you going to the cinema? Exactly. We say, what time are you going to the cinema? Okay, I believe that's okay. And then in exercise three, we are going to make yes, no questions or WH questions using the time expressions. Now, right now, at the moment, today, tomorrow, and this week. So it could be any question uh, using the present continuous in the yes, no, or the which uh, question form. Okay, 
So I'm sending you to the breakout rooms now for you to practice by solving all these exercises. And then we'll come back and we chat. Here we go. Opening the rooms. You got the exercises, right? Esa es la primera, verdad? Sí. So what's happening? ¿Qué están haciendo nuestros nuestros parientes? Vamos a poner uno puede ser en my mother is watching TV. But take turns uh, saying, for example, Annalisa, you mentioned three things that are happening around you, then Edilia does the same. Then it's Manuel's turn and so on. So you you keep sharing with your classmates. You seen the present continue. Yes. So here in my house, um it's raining and I'm taking class. And um, let me see what else. And I'm sitting in my sofa. Very well. Who's next? Yeah. Tiene que ser entonces lo de nosotros. Ya que tenemos que decir lo que nosotros estamos haciendo ahorita como nuestros parientes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Uh, solo que mis parientes están algo retirados de mí. Okay, Entonces but está... maybe. You could talk about anything that's happening there where you are. Like um, the dog is barking, for instance. You could also say that. Or as, a, as Adelia mentioned, it's raining. I mean, anything that's happening there, anything, anything that's going on. Cualquier cosa que esté pasando por ahí, so. My um, brother, my brother is looking at his phone. Okay. 
¿Cómo puedo decir que mi hijo está en la hamaca acostado? Creo que hamaca. Hammock. So you would ¿Cómo? say hammock. My son is uh, lying on the hammock. My son is lying on the hammock. Lying in the hammock. Mm -hmm. That's right. Lying on the hammock. My sister is playing in a cell phone. Cell phone. Repítalo, por favor. My husband is working. Um, my kid is watching TV. Um, in my room, only there one two person. Como dijo, perdón. No sé si ya pasamos todos. Yo creo que sí, ya. Sí. Pasamos. pasamos a la otra. Sí, pasamos. Um, si podría acercarlo, por favor. Thank you. Sí. Okay. La segunda. Yeah. My dad are washing his car at the moment. Can you repeat it, please? My dad are washing his car at the moment. Just my dad is. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's okay. Um, the question is a negative, negative sentence is my dad isn't watching his car at the moment mm -hmm. and the question is uh, is my dad watching his car at the moment very good you got it thank you number three um, the pronunciation of chat chatting 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 yes okay okay number three in affirmative sentence is my my friends are chatting right now negative my friends aren't chatting right now and interrogative interrogative is are my friends sharing right now? Very good. Number three. I am working this week. Uh, are are using? Are you using? Are you using your mobile? Are you using your mobile phone now? 
Okay. Voy yo con la siguiente. Uh -huh. uh, my daddy is washing his car at the moment. This is the affirmative form. Negative. Uh -huh. My dad is not okay. washing his car at the moment. And um, mm -hmm. interrogative form. Is my dad washing his car at the moment? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Walter. Okay. Number, number three. Number three. My my friend. Um, my friend is. No, my friends is. My friends. My oh. friends. Uh -huh. My friend is chat no, chatting. R, 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 son, son yeah. My I friend know. are chat. Uh huh. Chatting? Chatting right now. Okay. Oh. Eh, negativa, negativa es my ¿Sí? friend. My friend aren't. Aren't está bien, chatting sí. right, right now. Okay. Interrogativa. Aren't. Aren't. Are. No, are. Are, are, are. are my friend chatting right now? Okay. Number four. Eh, ya no está. ¿Cómo no? Así está Karen. Um, I work in this weekend. Sería la. Ajá. Afirmativa, ¿verdad? Afirmativa. Y eh, después sí en negativa. Negative. Okay. I, I don't work in no, this es, week. I'm not. Es, no. I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not working this week. Um, interrogative form. Interrogative. Yeah. Um, Somos, ajá. Uh, antecede I, el verbo to be al, al I. Sería am I. Am I working this weekend? This week. This week. Uh -huh. Okay. This week. Uh, Cindy now. Uh, the affirmative is my my family and I is travel this moment. Miss this month. My family and I are. Are oh, okay. My family and I travel this month. My and family and I, I are traveling my... this month. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The negative is okay. The affirmative is. My family and I are travel traveling this month. Mm -hmm. The negative is my family and I aren't traveling this month. The question of inter interrogative is um, are my family and I travel this month very well just remember to say it in the form traveling traveling, <clears throat> traveling. Okay. very good number six he is visiting his children his children today visiting visiting okay he he's visiting his children today mm -hmm. uh, he isn't visiting his children today. Is he visiting his children today? Mm -hmm. Number seven, Walter. Number seven. He is eating a hamburger. Eating? 
hamburger. Eating, eating hamburger. Negative is mm, he, she isn't. She isn't. She isn't. Mm -hmm. She isn't eating eating a hamburger. La siguiente sería, la siguiente. Mm. Is, is she? Is, is she? Is she eating a hamburger? Mm -hmm. You got it, excellent. Number eight, cutting. They are having a meeting today. They aren't having a meeting today. Um, are they having having a meeting today? Okay, tonight. Tonight. Yes. I. <laughs> My my grandparents <clears throat> are buying a new house. My grandparents aren't buying a new house. Are my grandparents buying a new house? Okay. Number ten. Daddy. Is writing a poem. Daddy is not writing a poem. Is Daddy writing a poem? All right. Miren, vamos a la siguiente. Question using the present continuous. Are you going to this? Are you are you going? Hay que convertir en going. Are you going? What time are you going to the cinema? Why? Why are you studying? Are mm -hmm. That's correct. Yes. Why are you studying? Studying. Uh -huh. Why you are what? Why you are studying? Why are you studying? Okay, okay. Why are you studying? Next classmate. When are when are Live. When are live? Okay, welcome back. And um, you maybe didn't have time to finish, right? You were missing maybe a couple of, of exercises. So don't worry, we're going to continue practicing tomorrow. But um, before we leave, I just want to take a look at the final exam. I know many of you have already done it, but just in case you have not, let me uh, take a look at it. Let's explore it. And um, let's um, let's explain the directions, the instructions. So the final exam starts with a listening part, a listening section. 
There you have to listen to the conversation and select the correct answers. So here you have the audio, you play it, you listen. I recommend you to listen the most three times. And then uh, what you have to do is to answer some questions or well, to select some correct options. For example, here we have Catherine has, and then you have four, seven, nine brothers and sisters. So you, you select, you mark the correct answer according to what you hear, what you listen. Then in part B, we have to complete conversation. We use do, does, or would. And we have even practiced this uh, with this part all together. So we have, for example, you like to see a movie tonight? Sure, what time does it start? And we use the verb would. Would you like to see a movie tonight? So that is what you have to do. You have two conversations to complete. Then in part C, you got a multiple choice in the correct word. There you have, for example, J does every morning before breakfast and you got this blank. So you select the corresponding word, yoga, football, yogging. Just select the one that you consider is correct. In section F or in part F, we got a reading exercise. There you have to read the article and, and then you have to answer some questions, right? Or select the correct answers. So we got, for example, in high school, Audrey to two acts. And then we have in plays, on television, in movies. You look for that information in the text and then you select your answer. So that's pretty much it for the final exam. If you have not done it, please uh, do it as soon as possible. Remember that today is the last day to complete this. So please, in case you have not done it, just go ahead and do it. Your best effort. And well, that's all for today's class. See you tomorrow. Take care, have a good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. See you Bye. Tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.